Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to give you all a quick update on what's been happening. Uh, so, I'm sorry first of all, it's been so long since I posted last. Um, as you guys know, I've had the health issues going on and things like that. Um, so, quick update with all that. Uh, I think I said I was starting a Vabradin or I just started a Vabradin in my previous video. Um, I've upped the dose a little bit and it's helped my heart rate. Uh, especially when standing and stuff. So now I can exercise, so I'm able to do cardio every day, which is nice. Um, overall, I'm not feeling too bad. I mean, I have days where I feel horrendous, uh, but overall it's better than I was. However, one of the side effects of the Vabradine is that um, my blood pressure is very high. So sometimes, uh, Sitting and laying down, my blood pressure is quite normal. Like it's a tiny bit high, 130 over 80. Uh, but when I stand up, I've seen it as high as 160 over 100, which is pretty bad. Uh, but then as I'm standing up longer, it comes back down to, you know, 130 or 120 over 85. So they're not too sure why that's happening. They think it's because of the Evabradine. Uh, so I will be starting Propranolol along with the Evabradine in the next week. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, along with that, I've had a couple of meetings and talks with people at my university, uh, just regarding, cause I've got, uh, I think 12, 11 or 12 weeks of prep left um, and one unit of my degree. So obviously with whatever I've got going on, it's kind of hard to be standing up and talking and uh, looking after patients for, you know, eight, 10 hours a shift for 12 weeks in a row. So they're happy to make some sort of accommodations and, you know, work with me on that. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, what else has been happening? Yeah, okay. Uh, I've also started a online store. So obviously being at home and not having that much to do because I'm on uni break at the moment, um, I have to keep busy, I have to do stuff. So I've started a Etsy store um, and I'm going to be starting a Redbubble and an Amazon merch store as well, uh, where I make and design um, funny, I wouldn't say inspirational, but funny uh, chronic illness related items. So t-shirts, mugs, um, phone cases, and they're all funny and like, uh, some of them are a little bit inappropriate, but it's, it's meant to get you laughing and you know, if, if, you're dealing with a chronic illness or something like that, any little bit of joy in your day is very useful. So I've started that and I'll link to that in the description and make a pinned comment of it as well. Um, but if you guys, this is where I need your guys' help. If you guys have any, uh, at the moment I've only got POTS, endometriosis, uh, I'm making some stuff for IST and um, like chronic fatigue and stuff. But if you guys have any illnesses you think I should include or any interesting, um, any item recommendations or anything, please comment down below and let me know and I will make them. Um, so yeah, I'll try not to leave it so long between updates next time. Um, I'll make another video in a week or two letting you guys know how I feel on the propranolol. Um, I'm only starting on a low dose with the Evabradine, so hopefully it helps. Until then guys, cheers.